everybody. Welcome back to Tiny House Big Magic. Today we're going to be talking about the cladding and also the insulation process. The cladding involved putting battens onto the tiny house. So the main reason for this is for the airflow. Air uh, so that involved cutting them into size and screwing them all on, which is great fun when you've got a steel frame. It makes it a lot harder of a job. Once all the battens were installed, then it was on to putting the ply up. So we chose a shadow clad ply, which is a specific ply for cladding the outside of houses. Each piece had to be cut to size and measured correctly and then installed onto the house on top of the battens. So again, that was quite a big process. Uh, probably took us about three days with a team. The next step was to stain the house. So used a cedar coloured stain. It was a water-based stain, so it was easy water clean up, which was great. And now, honestly, going forwards, most of it's just going to be things by time lapse. Um, it's been such a massive process. Don't want to bore you with all of the details, uh, especially with the main construction. Months and months of hard work. But uh, let's have a look at some of the time lapses. Have you, as you can see from these videos, we've had lots of volunteers come along and help. I've had Jody along, Mr. Pickles, obviously the engineer. Uh, Jake has appeared quite a lot in this video. Uh, there's been Bert, there's been Mark. Um, and then just random people popping in here and there to help. Meg and her partner came and helped with the insulation. Uh, so yeah, it's been a big team effort and it makes it way more fun when there's a lot of people. Um, and I really like how these time lapses have turned out. I'm also really lucky to have so many amazing friends that will give up their days and weekends to come help me build my house. So thanks guys, you're awesome. The insulation was probably my worst part of the project so far. Uh, I thought it was going to take a day. It actually took seven whole days. I uh, had a couple of friends helping in the beginning. So Megan and her partner came over from Christchurch. Cheers, guys. Um, and then after that, I just had to crack on with it. Pickles has been working a lot up the hill this season. He's a snowmaker and he was doing the graveyard shift. So he was understandably massively tired and time limited over the winter. Um, so it was really just getting stuck into it and making the job happen. After this, uh, I kind of lost the drive for the video, really. I got too busy with the construction, just kept going. So some bits are missing. The next stage in the process was putting up the inside building wrap. Mr Pickles suggested that we didn't run the wiring through the walls. There was a few reasons for this. One was that it was a steel frame, so it made it difficult. Um, also, if you think about building wrap as a balloon, if you put a hole in the balloon, the air's all going to come out kind of the same. So we didn't want to perforate and put holes in the building wrap. And also it makes the wire much more serviceable if it's on the outside of the wall. So that was a good decision. We'll see how we go with that one. The next process following this was putting up the lining. So we chose a 9mm red line ply because it had a really nice veneer finish, which looked really good when it had been polyurethane. So steel frame, absolute nightmare to put the lining up. Mr Pickles took care of that pre-drill in before you put all the screws in. Really strong with a steel frame, but definitely harder than putting stuff up on wood. Um, then we put the ceilings up after the walls had gone on. As Mr Pickles was putting all the things on, I was polyurethane in after him. Putting the things in the ceiling was really hard work, holding up the big pieces of ply on the wobbly scaffolding when I'm scared of heights. That was quite a good challenge. Definitely not for the faint-hearted. And then once all of the roof lining was on, then I came round afterwards and polyurethaned everything. One thing that I didn't get on video was the um, mezzanine going in. So Mr Pickles built a steel frame for that and that got bolted to the wall. And then we were ready for the next stage. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed the documentary. I'll try and keep you posted uh, where I can. In the meantime, keep an eye on the Facebook page. There's always photos going up there of the build progress.